Good morning to you. I am Mark Suddeth, and here's what's up in the tropics. It is Friday, the 5th of August, 2022. Going to take a little bit of a different perspective on things today. This is Africa, and we are going to be watching this impulse of energy. A couple of days from moving out into the Atlantic where conditions could be just a little bit more favorable than what we have seen in recent days and weeks. Uh, another different perspective here. This is the infrared satellite shot. There's the piece of energy, a tropical wave and associated thunderstorm activity. That's going to move out into the Atlantic, again, where water temperatures are warm enough. The air is going to be a little bit more moist and just a little bit overall slightly better conditions for this to possibly develop. And other people are seeing this as well. This is a tweet from Andy Hazelton. Uh, a non-negligible number of different ensemble members have the wave as a trackable, if I can say it, feature across the Atlantic next week. It's not a particularly bullish signal, as he says, for any big development. There is still plenty of dry air abound out there, but it is worth watching if it can stay intact. And again, there are uh, several ensemble members starting to pick up on this, so we shall see. Maybe as we get into the middle part of next week, this will be something to watch as we progress through August. At least for now, the satellite imagery this morning, the animation of it showing not a lot going on out there. Uh, the intertropical convergent zone, somewhat active out here in the eastern Atlantic. One tropical wave moving off the west coast now. That's not the feature we're going to be watching next week. That is still inland over Africa. In the southwest Atlantic and the western Atlantic and vicinity, upper level low in the vicinity of Bermuda. Uh, Got to watch this because sometimes when these just fester for a while, they can work their way down to the surface and become more than just a cold core upper level storm system. Nothing in the computer models to suggest that, but it is August. You do have some energy there over the warm Atlantic. You never say never. Western Caribbean, a little bit more in the way of deeper thunderstorm activity, but nothing coming together. The Gulf of Mexico also pretty clear. In the Eastern Pacific, a couple of areas to watch as these go on to try to develop one system here over in the on the western part of the satellite animation. That will slide to the west and eventually south of Hawaii over the next few days. I don't think there's going to be too much to worry about with it. I'll show you that in just a moment on the GFS forecast. And then the other system that's trying to develop, we can see that here in red, that should stay well off the coast of Mexico. There's that first system in orange trying to slide off the left side or the western side of the graphic. This is what it looks like on the GFS about the uh, 5,000 foot wind level. You see it does try to organize there coming in on the screen from the right sliding to the south of Hawaii as a tropical storm perhaps could send some waves uh, your way. So be uh, pay, paying attention to that. We'll look at it over the next few days into the early part of next week as that goes on. Just something to watch. I don't think it's going to be too big of a deal for Hawaii. But uh, again, that increase in swells could be problematic. We'll wait and see about that. Uh, going on to the east a little bit more. This is the uh, very active Pacific still going on here as that one system that I showed you earlier in red goes on to develop. It moves up pretty far off the coast of the Baja. Some of the moisture from it could get drawn into the monsoonal pattern for the southwest where you have had plenty of rain lately. Uh, not enough, but still a pretty good monsoon season so far. And this could help add an additional moisture feed to that over the coming days. And then, yes, another system in the southeastern Pacific there. It's just one after the other, isn't it? Again, I call it the sweet spot globally because it's pretty much the only place that anything is developing uh, right now. All right. All right. That is it for me for today. Have a great weekend ahead. As always, thanks for tuning in. I am Mark Suddeth. This has been What's Up in the Tropics. I'll be back with more for you tomorrow morning.